let's see. At least one minute of videos need to start a highlight. Let's see. Top chat, live chat are visible. Welcome to the live chat. Remember to guard your privacy. Live chat or messages visible. Hey guys, we're just doing a test here on YouTube. I don't know who's on, who can see me. If you guys can maybe send a question. I'm just trying to see how this works. My first time doing it on uh, YouTube. There we go. We're back on again. Uh, hey, Gio, how are you? Perfect. Hey, Ricky, how's it going? I'm just seeing if. Uh, if if most of the users will actually get a notification while I'm uh, doing live on YouTube the same way we do it on TikTok because uh, we're just trying to start to do this test just because in case uh, we lose uh, we lose TikTok And while we go, we're waiting here, we'll wait to see how many people can actually join. I'm just uh, curious still. I'm going to make some coffee because I need some. I just came from a long walk, me and Duke. So we need to make some coffee. Um, uh, let's see here. Maybe YouTube does not send a notification as good as uh, TikTok. How to flip ten into Hey, relax, Duke. I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Friday, by the way. Relax, but we just came from a long walk, me and Duke Ashley. I got notification. Okay, you got the notification. Okay, perfect. So, so there is a notification going on. Perfect. Okay. I just want to see if it's uh, if it goes through or not as a test. I got notice uh, through YouTube. Oh, nice. Okay. I'll probably stay here for a bit just to see how many people it comes in, and maybe I'll switch back to TikTok. I just have a little bit of time right now, like a half hour or so. So I thought I'd come in. Uh, Say hello to everyone. I'm just still doing some testing right now. We're still uh, doing a lot of testing with some new supplements, actually. So I gotta figure that out. How to uh, remove the plaque from the arteries? Been doing a lot of testing with a lot of different supplementation. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm testing some high dose of uh, bromelain. We're taking a lot of a lot of supplementation to see what happens. So this is what I got to kind of reduce inflammation. So far I've been on it for like a couple of days. Uh, zero pain, which is really, really good. Really good. Gia, how's things been? Are you still doing boxing or what's going on? Or you gave up on that?
So we have about four people on. If you guys want to tell me who, who's on, would be great. Just so I can get an idea how many people are getting the notification would be. Grace, I know. Gio got it. Ricky got it. I don't know the other two people. They haven't responded yet. Maybe you guys can, can let me know if you got the notification on or not. Now I'm ranked number three in California for heavyweight MMA. Oh, perfect. That's awesome. Congratulations. How things been going with that? Are you doing any training or just uh, you, you're just uh, competing in anime anime right now? Good, trying to drop weight, still carnivore, is giving me problems, kind of, what kind of problems you're experiencing, what's going on? I'm, tra I'm training, they told me I might get the UFC call soon and joints will hurt my shoulder and left knee and I will get hemorrhoids, hemorrhoid bad. So you're getting hemorrhoids from what? What are you doing that you're actually getting hemorrhoids? Are you still, uh, are you taking any uh, cayenne? Is that what's happening? A lot of spicy food joint pains and everything so anything so it gotta be something with your food that you're eating because uh, keep in mind a lot of the foods if you cannot tolerate it is gonna cause uh, aches and joints and it's not so much from the carnivore it's pretty much some stuff that you're adding to the carnivore possibly what uh, blood type are you because sometimes carnivore is not ideal for a lot of blood types or different cuts of meat. Coffee, it's uh, the only reason it's giving you pain is because of the high oxalates in it. And that's the only reason it's doing that. So you can actually, uh, if you really want to continue taking coffee, you have to actually start taking some uh, some bromelain so you can reduce the pain. Or else that pain is always going to be there. So it's all about uh, what you're taking and what you're consuming. That's the only reason you're getting aches and pains. It's not so much the carnivore itself. And it's whether you're, you're getting recovered or not. Well, the oxalates, they actually cause crystals in your joints, right? And these crystals are actually what are causing these aches and pains. So anything you're adding, you know, whether it's coffee or other things, is going to end up causing these issues, these little symptoms. So adding bromelain, even though it comes from pineapple, it does have the benefit to actually reduce inflammation. Because inflammation there is a type of uh, protein lipids, uh, sorry, protein that actually causes these inflammation or causing clotting, for example.
And it depends whether you're eating grass-fed or not. If it's not grass-fed, I would highly eat as lean as possible. I can't find my, my cup. My favorite coffee cup. Oh, what the hell, we'll, we'll drink in this one. Oh damn, thanks, man. Keep me updated, let me know how that goes. What I'm gonna do, guys, I'm just gonna go to uh, to the uh, TikTok live. I'm gonna re-notify re everybody again because I'm trying to actually get more people to come in from TikTok just in case they do get banned in, uh, in April. Um, so I'm gonna end the, uh, the chat here and go to TikTok and see if you can uh, get more people there. And uh, maybe we'll start making a little bit more of these uh, lives on YouTube. Maybe I'll have like a set set time where we do it like every Friday or Saturday or something like that. See what best work for everybody. I'm just trying to kind of get everybody's uh, feedback. But I, I need to actually, I gotta drink my coffee first. Okay, see, see you, I don't have TikTok. Oh, you don't have TikTok. Okay. Um, yeah, because I've I been, I been getting a lot more people joining uh, YouTube, so I'm going to start maybe to focus on that a little bit more. Um, let me see if I can get TikTok on my other... Uh, I don't, okay, I won't end the lives maybe. Let me see if I can get some people from uh, live. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go live on my other phone here. And see, I need like two phones then. One for one for TikTok and one for like YouTube. This way I can get everybody to actually move over possibly. Because I only have like 7% on, uh, on my iPhone here. Ricky. But while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and make my coffee. So guys, give me a minute or so. My espresso shot. This is my last espresso shot for the day. So I have to make it count. So there you go. We got we got more live coming in from from uh, TikTok. It seems there's already about ten people there, which is good. We'll keep at that. Then maybe we can we can get into the subject of uh, we're talking about. I'm gonna talk about you guys about the uh, uh, plaque removal that I've been actually testing a new product. So hopefully we can uh, we can maybe talk about that. And I'm just waiting for some testing next week. So let me make my coffee and I'll be back in a sec. So I'm just going to blend my coffee here for about 10 seconds. What exactly causes it in the first place is it saturated fast saturated fast has nothing to do with the plaque buildup what kind of causes a plaque buildup is high inflammation um, so whenever you eat anything that I have, that is highly inflammatory to the body it causes your apob which is called ipolipoprotein b to actually be above normal and when that hits above above normal 
that's when you start to end up having atherosclerosis. So guys, I'm doing I'm doing live on YouTube right now and live on TikTok. So I'm trying to actually answer uh, multiple questions here. But if we can get you guys to go into YouTube would be would be great. I'm just doing a test there to see how it works. Just in case something happens to TikTok for us where it gets banned. Because I got two phones running, but uh, the one that I have TikTok on only has about like 5% on it before it dies off. The one on uh, YouTube, it has like uh, 90%. The inositol, yeah, it does help lose weight a little bit, not much. What your thoughts on GLP-1? Yeah, you can. It's not bad. It still has a, some some major side effects, so you definitely have to be careful how much you use. I talked about it yesterday quite quite a bit, actually. I should actually get a stand that has like two that would hold like two phones or even three phones. So maybe I'll have like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. There you go. So I'm just gonna pour in my coffee, my espresso. I just uh, been waiting for it after two hours of walking with Duke. He's just sitting in the backyard, relaxed right now. If you wanna help with lose weight, you can do. It's all about uh, your carbohydrate timing. It's not so much about you know taking supplements. Supplements will actually help a bit, but it's all in regards to the shift of your carbohydrates, of your simple carbohydrates, more than anything. Tara just jumped over from TikTok. Cheers, Tara. Thanks so much for doing that. You guys, if you can jump over from TikTok to YouTube, I'm just doing a full test. Would be great just to see how everything works. And the nice thing is with the YouTube one, it is uh, recorded and we can actually keep it on, uh, on the channel. When you guys have questions, you can always uh, fall back and uh, and check them out and what i'll do is uh moving forward i'll actually write all the questions down so you guys know what we discussed i'll do that here for the next couple of days i'll do both youtube and uh, tiktok so i don't have to kind of just keep doing tiktok every single day because i have a lot of users a lot of patients they actually only have youtube guys so definitely want to give benefits for both So if anybody tells you guys that, you know, plaque builds up happens because of, of fats, it's not 100% true. And it's not 100% true that it happens from carbs. It's all in regards to the inflammation. You know, you could actually eat a lot of fats and it can cause inflammation. You can eat a lot of uh, carbohydrates and it can cause inflammation as well, too. The question is, how much does your body require and whether you have the gene mutation that actually causes your fats to oxidize or not so these are the questions we need to be asking our bodies or our doctors or even to get a proper blood testing to see where we stand because if we're just gonna blindly you know blame sugar or blame fat we're never gonna get the proper answers at all we're never gonna find out what's going on exactly so these are very very crucial can correcting a vitamin d deficiency help with hyperthyroidism hyperthyroidism or underactive thyroid, it's not so much that it's a vitamin D deficiency, it's all coming from your gut, nothing to do with your thyroid. Your thyroid plays about 20% of that, the rest is coming from your gut, which is about 80% of that. So the question is, if you have underactive thyroid, what is happening in your gut that is causing that? Yes, vitamin D is one of the factors, but there's magnesium is the other factor, there's tyrosine is an amino acid we get from food, there's digestive juices that are not breaking your food correctly and now it's kind of causing more of a reverse T3 than your T4 from converting to T3. So there's a lot of issues happening with the thyroid. But anybody with thy thyroid issue, the first thing you want to look at is your digestive juices, your pancreas. Is it actually releasing proper enzymes? To break them down. Give me a second, guys. Somebody has a, the door, I think. Duke, you're good. You're just a mailman. 
A diet, the only way to reduce inflammation, or is there a supplement that can help? A diet is one, but the problem is, Amy, the problem with the diet is sometimes we don't know where the sources are coming from. So let's say, for example, I follow a, a carnivorous diet, and technically a carnivorous diet should be actually zero inflammatory, right? Zero inflammation. But the problem is if the source where I get the meat is not clean, then of course I'm going to get some inflammation. So yes, supplementation will help. Uh, grounding or earthing will help. And sometimes certain things, like one of my good friends is actually testing eat right for your blood type and as well. And he noticed that the reduction on inflammation has, has gone down. So there is certain things you have to actually adjust in your diet to actually figure out what's actually optimal. Currently, right now, I am testing uh, bromelain, like heavy intake of bromelain uh, to reduce inflammation. And so far, the inflammation in my elbows and my shoulders and my lower back, all that is gone within like the first uh, 24 hours. And it's been like this for three days. So there is a good play with the enzymes, especially bromelain, or you take enzymes on an empty stomach. And there is a good portion of it comes from food. We're the source of the food. Who's looking after that food? Who's actually producing that food? So these are a lot of questions unanswered. You can correct me. Um, so what can help? Can I help to heal my gut? So the best thing to do is to so keep in mind your pancreas releases digestive juices like your amylase, lipase, and protease. That's what actually breaks down your protein, carbs, and fats. And to heal your gut, you don't want to actually overuse or overstimulate your pancreas. You want to make sure you're taking some digestive enzymes to kind of assist in the process. Once your pancreas becomes stronger, then you can get off the digestive enzymes. But that would be like the first initial uh, option or choice to actually start working with. And the whole idea is about increasing hydrochloric acid or acidity in the gut. So this way you don't leave any, uh, any uh, let's say, factors or any uh, food left over in your gut. So this is very, very crucial. Can eggs cause acid reflux? Only if the egg white is not fully cooked, yes. Guys, so I do have two lives going. I have one on TikTok, I have one on YouTube. If you guys wanna jump over YouTube, we're just doing a test right now to see how, if everybody will actually get a notification. Just in case I take three or four capsules of digestive enzymes before every meal. Yeah, make sure you're taking the digestive gold just because it has a very high enzymatic functions, which is excellent. I was taking antihistamine for allergies. It caused a lot of back pain. Have you heard of this? Yeah, the antihistamine, they do have some side effects. So if you want to actually take some antihistamine, forget the uh, the medical uh, prescription and go for quercetin and high vitamin C these would actually help way better and it's a lot uh, a lot safer deborah good to see you thanks so much for the cap cheers <clears throat> somebody's cutting the tree in the, in the back there i don't know if you guys can hear the noise or not So I just posted a new video on on YouTube about an hour ago. Yeah, it changed uh, about an hour ago, guys, um, in regards to uh, there was one cardiologist that died like recently in the past week or so from actually taking statins because he lowered his cholesterol so low, like we're talking his LDL in the low 70, 70. That's insane. You can't lower your LDL that low. You can actually kill yourself. And I think that's what happened with that doctor. So statins aren't the answer. Statins are just a band-aid to cover the issue. But the real answer is you have to actually dig through everything. Root causes. What is the root cause of causing high cholesterol? Cholesterol is the antioxidant. Cholesterol is what actually boosts your testosterone, gives you better sleep increases your vitamin D, increases your cognition, uh, enhances your uh, estrogen and testosterone levels in male and female. So it has a lot of factors. We can't just blame, you know, automatically just see the cholesterol as something bad for our body. We should never be doing that. 
You guys watch the new video I posted would be great. Statins may be causing dementia, I've heard. Yes, it does shrink the brain. 97% of brain is cholesterol, 100%, 100%. We need cholesterol to function. So it's not about lowering cholesterol. It's about controlling cholesterol from being oxidized. So the thyroid problem earlier, can I use digestive enzymes or probiotics? You have to use digestive enzymes. And if you want to use probiotics, don't get the supplement probiotics because they're a waste of money. You actually have to get like uh, fermented coconut milk. Um, because they actually contain like almost 40 strains and about um, 3 trillion bacteria per spoon. That actually a little bit better for you compared to the probiotics. And you have to actually take it on an empty stomach. And I would actually add like a, a prebiotic, which is food for the probiotics, at least, at least probably twice a week. I do it once a week, but at least twice a week would be ideal for you. And digestive enzymes, three to four capsules and probably hydrochloric acid after every single meal or apple cider vinegar. So this way you can break down all the food correctly and have no wastes left, left at all. Two hundred and forty nine cholesterol LDL 165 56 HDL doctor gave me last week 20 milligram Crestor any comment I would never your cholesterol numbers first of all are really good you gave me your HDL which is ideal you didn't tell me what your triglyceride are because we usually take the HDL divided by triglyceride and this way we can tell whether you're actually pre-diabetic or not that's the first thing but cholesterol numbers are irrelevant if you don't actually break them down. So we take LDL and we break it down into ApoB and ApoA1. ApoB, it depends on the number, whether it's causing atherosclerosis or not. Then we check your LPA. Your LPA is, is genetic. If it's under 30, you're good. If it's over 30, then there could be an issue with the stroke issues. Then we look at your homocysteine level. We look at your fibrinogen levels. We look at your HbA1c levels. We look at your... Uh, MPO and LPPLA2, these will actually cause soft, uh, soft um, plaque buildup. So there's a lot of things we have to look into. The cholesterol numbers just by themselves are irrelevant. And that's why I like niacin, because niacin is the only vitamin till today that actually prevents oxidization. So it's not about lowering your cholesterol, it's about preventing oxidization. How long will I have to take magnesium citrate to get rid of? Uh, it depends. It depends uh, how fast it works and it depends how much your body needs it. So that's why because Deborah, if you are deficient in magnesium, first of all, you are deficient in magnesium or else you wouldn't have got a kidney stone. Because if you have saturation correctly with magnesium, you will never have kidney stones. But now you'll have to saturate with magnesium before it will start the citrate form of it to start to actually break down the crystal correctly. So sometimes it could be you know, a couple months, so, so sometimes up to a year. I can't just give you like a straight answer. So your triglyceride is 135. So if you take 50, uh, 135 divided by 56, you're way above uh, two. We're looking for optimal levels to be below one. So you are um, pre-diabetic and probably most of your LDL, most of it is probably being oxidized. So the question is, would you just by the cholesterol numbers, would you actually go on statin or would you tell the doctor, hey, how about you give me more comprehensive testing? Why don't we do like a CT calcium score? Why don't we just uh, do like a specific test called MPO, LPPLA, to find out whether I have issues in my arteries or not? Why should I just take cholesterol pills just because? And it's the same freaking prescription. Every single person gets that same prescription. If I walk in with that cholesterol number and another person walks in with that same cholesterol number, we both get the same prescription without even digging further. Um, are eggs good? Eggs are delicious. I eat about 10 eggs a day. I just had five eggs this morning with a piece of steak. Not this morning, like an hour ago, two hours ago before I went for a walk. You guys, I do have uh, two lives going. The one I have on TikTok there, my, my phone is down to 7%. So if I do lose you guys, do hop in onto YouTube, if you don't mind. There's about 46 of you guys already. So if you guys can hop in onto YouTube, would be great. We're just doing a test to, see, to make sure everything is good. And the nice thing is with YouTube channel, everything is recorded. So you guys can always go back and listen to it or can go back and say, hey, Maurice, you said this or you said that. And I'll post all the questions we talked about. Doctors in the UK want tests for these things. 
you have to be referred to a cardiologist. What about, uh, Deborah, what about if you go to like a private laboratory? Because I know right now, I did find some of the testings are offered in the US uh, uh, through life extension. I'm trying to see if they actually offer them uh, anywhere else. While you're being, it's not I'm being banned. Um, TikTok will probably be banned in the US. If it does get banned, then we won't be able to do much live because I know eventually after it gets banned in the US, we're probably going to get banned in Canada as well. So that's why I'm trying to actually move over to YouTube in case that happens in early September, I heard. It's like it's been confirmed, but that's the only reason, guys, or else I'd stick to TikTok and definitely I would have like two phones where I can have YouTube as well, because I've been getting a lot of uh, people from YouTube as well, too. My girlfriend feels like there's something stuck on her throat and she is also having pains on left side of her chest. So whenever you have something stuck in your throat, it's most likely it's high omega-6. She's probably consuming a lot of uh, seed oils. There's actually causing high omega-6 levels where she's having a lot of uh, uh, inflammation. And that's the only reason you, you might feel that a scratch or something stuck in your throat. That's like the first sign of heavy omega-6 usage. What is your YouTube channel name? It's under my name, my full name, Maurice Deher. If you guys jump on there, it would be great. Is it uh, counterintuitive to put ionic magnesium in lemon water? Just learned it's mild diuretic. The only reason it becomes mild diuretic uh, because your body is not absorbing it correctly. You just got to make sure you start slow so you can actually practice, so you can allow your intestines to start to absorb s small amounts at a time and move your way up from there. Um, I've been in the hospital with high cholesterol and blood pressure. They say I have, it's not Jade, uh, you know, we'll have to actually dig a little bit more into some of the blood work. Uh, saturated fast cause it the most, no, they don't uh, can. See what happened is if you look at the artery, if you look at the calcification, you know, it's only roughly about 5% fat. The rest of it is all junk. Uh, the rest of it is all junk because all, most of it is fat and cholesterol, calcium. Uh, that's actually trying calcification. Nothing wrong with calcification. Calcification is actually preventing your infl inflamed artery from bursting. It's not caused from saturated fats. Saturated fats is actually heavily processed. Saturated fats is actually heavily mixed with sugars, where it's causing glycation effect. How do you think a lot of people uh, been uh, thriving on carnivore diet? I've been on carnivore diet for ten years. So wouldn't you say that saturated fat could be causing the issues? But it's not. It's not the saturated fats. It's the inflammation. What causes the inflammation? But I, like I said earlier, I don't know if you were here listening or not. Inflammation could be caused from fats and or could be caused from, from sugars. Because the problem is they're both are energy molecules and we don't know how to use them correctly. Some people, I'm not sure. Like some people will end up saying they'll go ketogenic and they'll start stuffing their, their face with fats. And vice versa, as well, they do the same thing with carbs. We overindulge with fats, we overindulge with carbohydrates. And that's the problem. That's where the inflammation is coming from. And there is a gene test you can actually check for to see whether you can actually uh, break down fats correctly or not. So it's all, it could be related, but it's not 100% related, Ken. And, and maybe I might disagree with you on something, but you might maybe disagree on other things, but... They're both used as energy molecules, fat and sugars. And the problem is we overindulge in both and that's why we end up causing issues. But saturated fat, if you actually take it at a, a base level, same with carbohydrates, you eat it at a base level, then you're not going to overindulge and that, therefore you're not going to cause any inflammation. But we can't blame one or the other. The only reason sometimes I blame sugars because everything you find in the stores are either heavily processed, heavily infused with sugars and other things and it's always been so so much in it but fats only time you probably end up getting like oxidized or heavily processed fats is when you actually go out and you order like a piece of cake or so on and so forth how do i fix this feeling of something stuck on throat should be Drinks. It's not about drinking something. You just have to eliminate that uh, omega-6 usage. That's why I will start taking some omega-3s, like cod liver oil, eat more fish, uh, and eliminate anything that is seed oils. Completely eliminate. 
Don't know how I got here, but I'm here. Oh, Deborah, you jumped from TikTok channel to my YouTube channel. That's perfect. That's what I want because because I'm I'm losing I'm losing my phone here. Uh, I'm only down to like six percent on my TikTok phone. So definitely, if you guys can jump over to YouTube, would be great. If not, I'll have to do the chat again while I actually fully charge my phone. How about coconut milk? Safe to consume? Coconut milk is not bad. It's it's good uh, as long as it's actually done correctly. It's mostly saturated fats, which is good. Is kombucha good? Uh, it depends. I wouldn't be getting it from the stores. I'd probably be getting it from uh, you making it would be better because most of the ones in the stores, they still con contain a lot of uh, sugars in them. Marek, how are you? Good to see you on YouTube. So what, what I do have the itchy area. So wait, why do I have what itchy area? Are you talking about the throat? The only reason you have the is that word because I'm confused. I'm getting a lot of questions. I don't know if they're the same person or a different person. So I'm trying to kind of be looking at both phones here just to make sure, you know, nothing is missed. And I know for a fact that on TikTok, I get like one question after the other. Uh, am I taking MSM for inflammation and TB500 for strains and muscle pulls? Yeah, you can do TB500 and uh, you can do BPC157 as well too for the inflammation. Um, I'm currently testing some uh, heavy dose of uh, bromelain and uh, pine bar just to see what it does. You're multi... <laughs> yeah, no kidding, trying. Um, what can I do for the cholesterol? It's 320. 320 is irrelevant. I need to know what your oxidization is. You need to probably get a proper testing to check the oxidization. My aunt has a huge hernia. They said surgery is not necessary. Thus, it depends where it's at and how long it's been, whether it's actually leaking or not. I can't really give you an answer on that. Something they have to take a picture and find out. Doctor gave prednisone too scary to take. I wouldn't take it. There's no point. Check your testosterone and check your estrogen levels. Why do you want to take it? What's the point? Um, multitasking. I'm trying. I'm trying, Deborah. But. Um, this is good. I haven't done uh, two lives before, which is good. But I, I am trying to get everybody to switch from TikTok to YouTube, just in case, guys. But the nice thing is with YouTube, Deborah is going to actually record the whole video, which is this way you guys can actually go back and kind of browse through it and see what I spoke about or maybe some of the questions that have been asked. Uh, please, I have very high cholesterol, 8.0. Um, you can actually uh, go to my uh, go to my website, uh, Nana, and download my ebook, How to Actually Treat High Cholesterol. I'll actually walk you through the whole process, and you can get it fixed. The question is, why is it so high? Why are you eating so much inflammatory foods? Like, I don't know what you're taking for food or what you're eating, what you're consuming. So... Or you can definitely uh, book a time with me. We can discuss it in details. Debra, I got your email, and I think I did respond. I hope I did respond. I know I got like 30 emails this morning when I woke up, and I've been trying to respond to everybody. So sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed, and uh, I lose focus. You might need a Rumble account instead. Too much stuff going on. A Rumble account? Yeah, no kidding. I don't know where to get that. I'll have to look into it. Is that an, an actual application or is it just uh, screwing with me right now? <laughs> they will ban you ASAP for the info you're giving. It's okay. Uh, people don't like me. You guys love me still. You guys will find me if I get banned somewhere. I eat very late. Why do you eat very late? No, no, how about you? Book a time with me. Let's talk in specifics. I don't know if we have talked before or not, but I'll definitely help you. And you guys jump over to YouTube if you get a chance. What is specifically the name of the blood test we need to ask the lab for high cholesterol? Send me a direct message. I'll send you all the information you need to get. And once you get them, the doctor is going to say no to them. But once you get them, I'll do the full interpretation for you and I'll actually give you a guide. That's why I'm actually, my new book that I'm making is heart disease, how we can actually remove plaque and uh, fix heart disease. I'm actually going in so much depth, every blood test and every blood test that actually is high, what vitamin to take to actually fix it or what food to take to actually fix it. I'm actually putting that together. Uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. 
I eat very late, but I only eat veggies and oil now. I'm trying to lose weight, 50 pounds. What is oil? What kind of oil are you eating? The heartburn is bad still. Should I get a banana? Will it help? I would just add it, see what happens. I only eat like once a day, really. Okay. Ricky, after a STEMI, does the heart change shape? The heart does not change shape. The, the problem is when you get a stent, uh, what happens is that artery, it won't actually become as flexible. So it depends where the artery, where, where the stent is, and when it's preventing it from being flexible, the question is, is it causing any issues? Is it causing a blood pressure issue or not? High cholesterol is not good. Ken, why would your body produce high cholesterol to actually give you a heart attack. There's a reason for that. Would you ever question that? So your body's not trying to kill you. Your, bri your body is trying to save you. So why would we call LDL high or, or you know, bad cholesterol, good cholesterol? There's no such thing. There's no such thing. It's all made up words so we can actually uh, cause fear on the population and cause fear so we get everybody to start taking statins. Who freaking invented statins? They invented statins for a reason because it's a billion dollar industry. Buying the book immediately, thank you. And keep me updated, Strawberry. Um, yeah, once the book is uh, released, it's gonna be very exciting, actually. Very exciting. I've, I spent hours and hours, probably it's been, I've been on it for almost like a year straight, just doing so much research and checking what everyone is doing. Rumble is a website and app, not censored as much as youtube and others i gotta write this down i don't have a pen rumble i gotta write it down so i don't forget so it's not a nap then is it rumble rumble i'm gonna put here social multi taurine is like white powder it's not sugar is it it's not it's not sugar no Back in the day, back in the day, like I'm talking back in 2001, 2002, we used to sell taurine and I used to actually manage GNC stores. We used to, man we used to sell taurine and inositol like crazy, seriously, like crazy. Uh, why? Because people would actually mix it with cocaine and sell it. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to be talking about that, but yeah, that's what they used to do because it mimics it so good, especially inositol. People would, would buy it for like they'd buy like a 50 gram for like a hundred bucks and they would go ahead and mix it up and sell it for thousands of dollars. That's why in Asotol back in 2001, it became, uh, got banned in Canada for I think like six months and it was back in the shelf again. So after it was back in the shelf, I think they must have added something to it to actually prevent people from doing that. So it's insane. It's insane the stuff uh, we used to get back in the day. So it's kind of interesting. Marek, thanks so much for the message. I appreciate that. I know it just popped on my screen. I hope you're doing good. I hope your family's doing good as well, your kid and the wife. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. And now a lot of the supplements are going to start to get banned, you guys. Uh, hey, Kathy. So keep that in mind. A lot of the supplements are going to get banned because of... Uh, Pharmaceuticals are actually pushing the button again. This is the fourth time they push the button, but this time they're actually something is happening that it might maybe prevent us from actually buying some of these supplements. So you guys might have to actually start buying in bulk. The problem is the products, most of the products will only last like two years. Excellent. I'm glad to hear, Mark. Uh, and you guys keep in mind uh, on the 26, 27, 28, I probably won't be doing any consultations. Maybe I might maybe do a live just because uh, I'll be moving off the grid. So on the 26th, I'll be driving eight hours. So I won't be able to talk to you guys much because I won't have no connection. So once I get to the destination, hopefully by the next day, once I have everything configured, like the water and everything and the Internet, then we can definitely continue from there. Which supplements do you recommend? Which supplements do I recommend? Uh, uh, it's mostly what the problem is it's all based on your goals right like for me i have specific specific uh supplements that i'll be taking that i have to i always buy for a year supply or two year supply no matter what because i need them i need them for specific reasons um so for me like i do stock up on a lot of the berkeley uh, nitric oxide i i have about 12 boxes right now i bought 
and I do uh, have about 18 bottles of magnesium because we need magnesium and I have a lot of other supplements. How do I lose waste, best man? Is it only calorie count and exercise? It's mostly shift your carbohydrates. Just try to shift your carbohydrates, you can start to lose weight. I did an ebook for like $3, I think. Check it out on how to lose weight and actually maintain muscle mass. What kind of substance for nitric oxide? I actually buy it directly from Berkeley because uh, they actually use potassium nitrate and extraction of uh, beetroot. And it's the only one that actually lasts eight hours in your body compared to most of the ones will only last like 30 minutes or an hour. So that's the only reason I bought enough for a whole year in case the price goes up because that is already a very expensive product. Magnesium, which to help gut health. The one magnesium I use it is the magnesium ionic chloride mixed with the trace minerals. Um, the one that actually fits with the trace minerals, it's not one size fits all. It's not, no. And that's the thing, like everybody has to actually figure out their customization based on their plan. Like I know my two supplements are always going to be my nitric oxide and magnesium. For you guys, it might be totally something else. Do they send nitric oxide to the UK, the one you have on your... They, I don't think they do yet. I'm going to talk to them again because I've been getting a lot of people asking me that. And last week I had one person uh, got me to buy it for him. So I had to buy it here locally and package it and ship it to him for the UK. I don't know if the company is going to change that or not. Uh, magnesium, as I mentioned, you have to saturate. And Philomena, I think we talked ab about it on the phone that you're supposed to be taking it every three hours. And I know you're working late shifts, so you still have to take it. I have red pimples on my you know, close to the throat and something after fasting, this painful to swallow. It's uh, it's omega, you're, you have high inflammation is due to the intake of high seed oils. And that's what is happening. And that's what is happening. That's why you have the issue with your throat and stuff. Good afternoon, Maurice. Hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, so far, it's so good. Uh, Raven, thanks so much for asking. Every three hours, um, thanks so much for asking. Uh, but I am having both. I have live uh, on TikTok and live on YouTube. So if you guys miss me on TikTok, because I'm trying to get YouTube going as well too, guys. So your support would be amazing. Every three hours take magnesium. Yeah, you have to actually saturate. The life of the um, magnesium is very, very short and our intestines aren't built to actually consume uh, consume it once a day only. Benefits of taurine, antiplatelet. It actually preserves all the... Uh, Electrolyze to your cells and without taurine, you're not going to be able to uh, To saturate with magnesium correctly, especially for your heart Hi there. We'll watch sounds good. Thank you, Teresa. Oh good to know. Thank you Yes, I have both running because my phone on TikTok is gonna die soon uh, So I have YouTube if I do lose you guys here jump over to YouTube because I have YouTube running as well Because I have people jumping from TikTok to YouTube heading to YouTube Andrea awesome Andrea. Thank you What are the seed oils so seed oils are everything? Avocado oil, no to it. Canola, no. Seed oils such as grapeseed, no. Sunflower seeds, no. Soy, no. Um, certain olive oils, no. So all these oils you find in a freaking bottle. Say no to them, seriously guys. Because they're very highly inflammatory. So stop using them. Tay Tay, hi. Hey, how are you? Did you did you switch from TikTok to YouTube? How about mild olive oil? So so the problem is with olive oil, no matter what, they contain 20% polyunsaturated fats. And 99% of them are already oxidized. So every time you buy uh, olive oil, 20% of it is already oxidized, no matter what. Uh, avocado oil, it's a no. So far, because the production of uh, avocado oil has been highly been uh, been overwhelmed. A lot of the companies been overwhelmed and they can't keep up. So now we've noticed that they've been trying to mix them with uh, vegetable oils such as canola. I've been questioning one main company from Costco that everybody buys and it's organic. I've asked them for certificate of analysis three times and they denied it. So what the hell are they hiding? So guys, stay away from all that stuff till I actually figure out what's going on and what are they hiding. Yes, Charles, no to avocado oil either. So stick with coconut for now. Single source olive oil is better. Single source of olive oil is better, but the problem is 
the fats in olive oil still has polyunsaturated fats. If you can buy it locally and it's produced locally, it's fine than to actually buy it from overseas and being shipped in the containers where they go through atmosphere changes. By the time it hits your, your area in North America, for example, is going to be already oxidized, at least most of it. Maurice still looking for B12 methylated form. I'm from the UK. Uh, send me a message. Did you send me a message? Uh, are you checking iHerb at all? Yes, what's, that's the one I get, Costco. Yeah, stop getting it from Costco. That's it, simple. Same with uh, like the avocado oil you guys get. Stop getting it from Costco for now because they're not actually responding to my to my question. Um, Delight, cheers. Thanks much for the, uh, for the gift. Hi, please, what can I use or take this itchy on my arm? It's getting bigger. So it's probably allergies on your arm. It's, it's, uh, so, so anything to do with the skin, keep this in, uh, guys in mind, anything to do with the skin, skin is the largest organ and the largest organ comes from your digestion. So anything you're eating that is causing that. I will stop Costco EVO, yes, 100%, stop it, Kathy, stop taking them. Costco is the worst freaking company. See what Costco does, it's funny. You go to Costco, you find the same bottle, it'll be like 30, 40% cheaper then go into, let's say, Italian store and you're buying the same type of olive oil, for example. And you wonder why. So I did a little bit more digging. So the company that actually produced the olive oil, that actually sells it to Italian market and sells it to Costco, and sells it to Costco, what they do, what they do is they have like a grade A. Okay, we'll send it to the Italian store. Oh, we got a grade B and grade C. I know we know for a fact the Italian store is not going to buy it. Hey, let's ship it to uh, Costco and Costco will sell it for a fraction of the price. So not everything in Costco is legit. Most of the stuff they sell could be bullshit and could be uh, because of many factor issues. They sell it for a cheaper price. To give you another example, my brother buys wine. He buys uh, he buys the grapes from an Italian store and the same grapes that they come from the Italian store, Costco sells them. From the Italian store, they sell them for three hundred dollars. From uh, from uh, what do you call it? From Costco, they sell them for almost uh, fifty percent off, one hundred and fifty dollars. So he bought both, and he did actually both for uh, to make wine. The one from Costco it tasted like shit. Seriously, the quality of it is not the same. So they actually have reduction in quality. Guys, I just lost TikTok because my phone died. So I hope everybody is jumping to YouTube channel. Too much oil in general is bad. Well, too much oil is, is, is bad, but still it's the omega-6 that people are actually consuming, Ken. And the problem is with the with a lot of the omega-6 is highly inflammatory. If you don't keep a good balance between your omega-6 and your omega-3, like the max, I would like to see maybe like a ratio 4 to 1. And yet, you know, some of my patients I check, they have a ratio 20 to 1, 40 to 1, 60 to 1 from omega-6. So obviously, even thought, you know, you know, some of the omega-6, they say it's it's good for you, but it's actually this was causing most of the inflammation. Uh, Taylor or ghee, 100%, uh, it's one of the best, uh, uh, it's a, one of the best animal fats you can have. And it's, they don't oxidize. They have a much higher of a, of a smoke point. I get fresh olive oil from overseas. My in-laws press them and ship it. Can I cook with high heat? I would never cook with high heat. Uh, olive oil should should be only used for dressing. Once you cook your meat, put it on top of the meat, put it on top of your salads, put it on top of the chicken, whatever you want. But don't cook with it no matter what. Even if it has a higher pressure point, you're still going to cause oxidization for the polyunsaturated fats. So the polyunsaturated fats, they're oxidized by, by heat, by oxygen, and by light. So... So you have to kind of keep that in mind, guys. What do we cook meat with? Which kind of fat? You can use tallow, you can use suet, you can use butter, you can use ghee, uh, you can use coconut. So use the, that kind of form to actually cook with instead of actually using, um, you know, olive oil or canola bullshit or soy or anything like that out there. Because all that stuff is heavily processed. Um, and it's all man-made. Let's just put it this way. Back in the day, we never had access to any of this stuff. So, so stick with as much natural as possible. And I think the most best natural out there is uh, animal fats, duck fat, pork fat, um, 
you know, suet, uh, beef tail, all that stuff is all, has always been used back in history. Multiple years, for, for many years, I've always used it. Um, and I think that would be the safest. That would be the safest. And you know exactly how much to use. Goose fat is good. So anything you can get in animal fat, unfortunately, I can't get goose fat here. Duck fat is really good, actually. I get duck fat as well, too, here. Quite a bit. But that's what you want to cook with. I have, uh, I have camel fat. It was actually sent to me as a gift from Turkey. Um, can I can't really answer that question. I don't know if that's uh, that's a joke you just or you just putting it out there. I know there's certain cultures they possibly use that. I'm not sure. Can't really give you the, an answer on that. And uh, you're right, Debra. It's not really. It's not funny, you know, because uh, it's not a. It's not a good way of putting it out there like that, unless you're just trying to be, you know. Uh, does duck fat taste nice? I like duck fat actually. It's not bad. It's very mild. Very mild. Uh, if you want a little bit more of the heavier, heavier fat, um, I find pork is very heavy. I don't like it a, a whole lot. I rather have. I like suet actually myself. So suet is usually the fat that actually surrounds the kidneys and protects the kidney. And that one actually has like the nicest flavor. That's what I think. And I've always used it. And actually it tastes nice, which is good. I'm just gonna plug my phone, the phone that died. Cause I know a lot of people, I had like almost 60 people there. And uh, I think we lost all of them. Cause my phone died, but I just have to charge it because I'm waiting for a shipment. Uh, I made a, I made an order of uh, six boxes. I took my whole paycheck and end up end up buying uh, taurine for the whole year because I take taurine and I give uh, Duke taurine as well too. Um, so I'm expecting the order to come today. So I got enough because uh, the price is kind of going up. I think after after the summer in September, I heard. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Are you moving off grid permanently? Um, I'm trying to, Debra. So when I go on the 26, I have a few things to finish. Still, I have to finish the insulation and finish the water line. I have to finish the water line and I have to finish the septic tank. So once these are done and i should be able to stay for the winter so if my work stays you know busy and everything because i do have internet i'll be doing probably more lives and more hiking and fishing with duke as well but yeah i want to move there permanently and i'll just come here to the city to visit the family whenever i could 100 percent. that's that's the plan last year was that plan but last year i i built the whole unit myself and i got very very exhausted so i didn't have time to actually finish any any uh, insulation or the water. So I was without water for almost two weeks. How to get rid of, of uh, I'll answer that in a sec. In China, eat dog, part of the culture. Okay. Yes, I'm using magnesium torate for my blood pressure. Perfect. And, and you, you know, magnesium torate works really good for blood pressure. But the problem is with, with sorry, with the magnesium torate, the amount of taurine is very minuscule. So it's very hard to actually saturate it correctly. That's why I like to take uh, magnesium ionic chloride separately and I actually add my own taurine. So that's why, because after doing multiple testing, high blood pressure requires at least 3000 milligrams of taurine. Uh, and the amount they give you in the uh, uh, magnesium taurate is very minuscule. Hey, I got my taurine today too. I had it with magnesium. Complete white powder, one quarter teaspoon on water. When does effect take place? Once you actually saturate, you need to saturate your body with it. It's gonna help actually allow magnesium to saturate a little bit faster as well in your system. But uh, it's not gonna happen overnight. You just have to kind of stay consistent. Because keep in mind, taurine is heavily found in your eyes, heart, and brain, right? So be patient and uh, you have to at least use it for 90 days before you actually reduce the amount of taurine after that. Um, Duke is sitting outside still, so I'll make sure this is good. 
Let's make sure he's okay. I don't know if you can, can you switch the camera here? Let's see, can we switch the camera back and forth? Oh yeah, there's Duke, Mr. Duke. He wants to play outside. I'll go play with him in a bit here, because we had like almost two hours of fun. Took him to a new uh, to a new place to actually go for a walk, and uh, usually he likes that. How much to start with, and after 90 days, how much? Uh, so you gotta start with 3,000 milligrams every three hours, the same way you do with magnesium. And after that, after 90 days, you're actually gonna reduce up to like probably no more than about 3,000 milligrams. It, it depends on how you feel. Depends on the blood pressure, depends on your on your eyes, on your brain, because it does a lot of things as well, too. Right now, we're actually doing testing. I'm doing testing, actually. Uh, taurine against uh, Brolenta, because a lot of people take that medication because it's an antiplatelet, anti-aggregation, and uh, taurine does the same thing. So we're trying to kind of compare the two beside each other to see which one is actually, if taurine is effective, then we can kind of discontinue anybody who's using Brolenta. Is that how much uh, taurine, one quarter teaspoon? I thought it was more. I I'm not sure, Debra. Uh, the one you have, because I buy mine locally, and mine is one quarter teaspoon, I get 3,000 milligrams. Just make sure that's what it says on the back of the, of the box of your unit, because some of them are one quarter teaspoon, some might be a little bit different. Is that half a teaspoon every three hours? You you'll have to check uh, Android user. Uh, you'll have to check actually because each brand sometimes is different because some of them are like more fluffier than others and some of them they use the different form but it's either one quarter teaspoon or half a teaspoon mine is one quarter teaspoon and actually the one I'm getting right now that is coming it actually comes with its own uh, scoop and uh, that scoop that it comes with uh, with it is actually 3000 milligrams so I'm not sure the one you have i'll have to actually either check the brand but in the in the back of the uh, unit of the supplement it should actually uh, say that it should say that um i was using the one from iherb the one i'm using right now i bought it locally it's only it's a canadian company that i'm actually t testing um and i know it's one quarter teaspoon have any helpful hands for ringing of the ears? So ringing of the ears, tendonitis. So usually the tendonitis issue um, is due to the fructose intake or crystals in your body. So the technically is, the question is, why do you have so much crystals in your body? It's probably because you're eating a lot of uh, oxalates. Which company? The one I'm using Android uh, user, it's called Canprev. So if you are in Canada, you can probably get that brand name. Yeah, can I don't know if I can actually comment here. Can I comment here? Let's see. Share. Oh, it doesn't give me an option. If I click on the plus, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't give me an option. I would actually type it in for you guys, but it doesn't seem that it gives me the option. Yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, the one I'm using right now, I'm going to be using is Canprev. The old one that I used to have it was actually from iHerb, but I don't have any more. I was actually, I ran out about a week ago. I've been without it. And I already can tell a difference in my eyes because... Uh, they actually, since I use the computer quite a bit, they actually get, I get eye strains. So I have to use uh, taurine quite a bit. So bromelain helps take oxalates out. Well, bromelain lowers, lowers inflammation. What takes oxalates out uh, is magnesium. But the problem is, keep in mind, sometimes oxalates, it depends where it's infused in your joints. It can take up to three years. And usually when you become fully carnivorous, because you're not eating any plants contain oxalates, um, you can actually have like a lot of pain in your joints and knees and stuff. And eventually you're going to start to notice like white powder when you wake up in the morning on your joints. That's how oxalates actually is uh, excreted out of your body. Is pineapple good to eat a few times a week? Yeah, you could eat it a few times a week. Just make sure it is last meal of the day because it does contain quite a bit of sugars in it. And that's why I tend to take kind of bromelain on its own uh, just so I end up getting the sugars from it. But yeah, other than that, it is good. Very high in, uh, in the bromelain to actually maintain proper uh, inflammatory factors as well too. So I gotta try to get 
I don't know how can I get more people. I'll get more people to see to to join. Uh, I know I lost TikTok there. If you tap the screen here, do I get likes? Is that how you guys giving me likes here? How does that work? Or is it just just like a thumbs thumbs up kind of thing? It, Yeah, it doesn't look like there's many, many features here on the in, uh, YouTube live, which is not bad, but I like the, the way that it records because I heard that actually it records the questions too, while um, TikTok does not allow that, which is too bad. Thumbs up and oh, you guys can do a lot of things. I don't know. I don't have anything to see on my end to see other than a thumbs up. So that's awesome. That's pretty good. We need to get like a couple of thumbs up so this way I can keep the live going and uh, keep the live. I'll actually keep doing more lives here because maybe I'll start doing both for now every single day if I could. Between, I just got to make sure I charge both phones. I got to buy like one of these external battery. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll buy an external small battery, guys, and I'll actually have like another uh, section so I can hook up my other phone because I have two phones. One I only use for my life just because uh, the screen on it is nice and big. I can see it. And this way I can do both uh, YouTube and TikTok. So this way uh, we can increase that in time. And I know I do get a lot of questions sometimes. Sometimes it gets very, very tiring, but it is what it is, right? But uh, hopefully we get more people. How many? So we got 15, 14 people on here, which is awesome. And... Uh, that's good. So yeah, when I, originally when we were talking, we we're talking about uh, you know removing a plaque or plaque buildup in the system, and the way we're gonna actually be doing that, I'll probably get most of you guys down the road to check one of the main uh, blood tests, which is called ApoB. Can, can also watch YouTube on TV, but it won't be interactive. Okay, that's, that's interesting. So you can watch the live on YouTube, live on YouTube channel or on your TV, but you can't be able to kind of send questions through the remote or nothing. Okay, that's interesting. So there is some good benefit from it. I hope I'm still waiting till I actually get monetized. I still need like almost 1300, 1300 hours before I get monetized. So I don't know when that's going to freaking happen. Hey, Lawi. Mary Jean, it worked. I subscribed. It wouldn't let me on TikTok. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm glad you were able to subscribe. Um, good to see you here. Sorry, I lost TikTok. I, uh, my phone died. It was like down to 1%. I was trying to actually send you guys a message and it died. But I'm glad you made it here, and hopefully we can get more people to actually to join the uh, YouTube channel. But what I'll do, I was telling everybody, I'll start having like a chat on both of them. But I'm trying, if, I have like 18 of you guys here. If you guys can actually watch at least one or two videos of mine or run it in the background while you're actually doing some work would be really, really appreciated because I'm trying to get... I think I need like 1,200 hours to actually get uh, monetized. Once I get actually monetized, then it makes it easy for me to actually uh, make YouTube videos or other things because if it doesn't make, monet uh, make it monetized, it makes it tough for me with YouTube. How old are you? How old do you think? I'm like an old, old man. Pam, thank you. Yeah, if you, if you guys would be great. If you guys can watch some of my YouTube channels, uh, some of my you know, YouTube, like, run them in the background, at least if I can get, I'm trying to get 1,200 hours to go. I think once I get monetized, what I'll do is I'm going to actually, uh, I'll, I'll do something for you guys in return for everybody, actually. Because I know you guys know for a fact I do give a lot of free answers, a lot of feedback, a lot of supplementation, and I give you guys a lot of good info out there, especially the ebooks. I'm gonna, I'll even uh, reduce the cost of the ebooks on some of them, especially the new one that I'm actually working at would be great. I just need to kind of get monetized and I hope I can get it done one day. Maurice, is high LDL directly causing plaque? It's not whether it's causing a plaque or not, it's whether the LDL is actually being oxidized or not. 
I think you're like 72 years old. You're pretty close. You're pretty close. I am in my early, early 70s. Thank you. <laughs> um, JHH. So, yeah, so the LDL only if it's actually oxidized. Only if it's actually oxidized, then uh, it will cause something, but not the full amount. So, let's say if you have LDL and your LDL is at 100. But let's say if 20% out of that is being oxidized, so you got roughly about 20 milligrams per deciliter is actually being oxidized every day, then we could be running into an issue. So that's why there's one test is called APOB, and that will tell us how much oxidization, or the if or even you can actually break APOB to another test call, called OXLDL, and that one will tell us exactly what it is. Lawi, I'm I'm in my early 40s. I'm not that that old. 71, 72, come on. Really? I have, I'm in my early 40s, but I've been through lots. Let's just put it that way. Through a lot of things. <laughs> so so if you can get that test done, it's called O X L D L. And based on that number, we can tell how much of your LDL is actually been oxidized or if you cannot get it based on the country or your place you're in or the city or the province like here in Canada we cannot get it at all we have to ship it to the US then you can check your APOB and your APOA1 and based on that levels of the APOB we can as well do a calculation test exactly what's being oxidized and to fix that I did it I did a video it's called uh, all you need is 2000 milligrams of this product to actually remove the plaque so definitely check it out uh 73 years old then sounds good do i look 73 really i thought i look a lot younger so i guess all these uh anti-aging supplements are bullshit damn what what if you have high ldl and low triglyceride what does that mean so when we look at triglyceride we actually look at hdl versus the triglyceride and we're looking for an average below 0.2 0.9 if you are zero, below 0 0.9 that means that this tells us that your body is very efficient and insulin uh, sensitive <clears throat> if it's above 0 0.9 or higher that means you're insulin resistant so that means you could be pre-diabetic so that figure these factors has nothing to do with your your uh, the rest of your cholesterol whether your apob or apoa1 or any inflammatory factors so it's the inflammatory factors that tell us whether you're actually being oxidized or you're not being oxidized, whether you're actually getting atherosclerosis or you're not getting atherosclerosis. That's what it is. And of course, you know, there, there's other factors. There's roughly about seven different factors that can cause arterial damage. I don't want to be, I'm so sorry, but you look old, I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. Thanks so much for that. I really appreciate your comment. I think maybe it's a beard or maybe because I don't sleep as good or nothing like that. It is what it is, I guess, right? What can you do, Lawi? How old are you then? So if I look 71, do I look 71? That's pretty good, actually. For, I, I do look good for 71 then. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's what happened when, when probably because I was vegan for like almost nine years and I was so frail and uh, had like a huge gut and had so many problems in my gut maybe that's what kind of got me to this stage i'm glad that i actually became carnivorous for the past almost uh, 10 years now because it's uh, it's uh, night and day i'm nine years old that's good that's good if you feel nine years old that's awesome that's awesome <laughs> I know, Lau is just uh, teasing me, I think. He's just having too much fun on this channel. You look 40, 42. You actually look early 40. Perfect. Perfect. So, uh, let's see here. See, Mary Jane thinks I'm handsome. Come on, Lau, you can do better than that. So guys, I'll stick around here probably for another maybe like 10 minutes because uh, I do have to get going shortly. I'm just waiting for a package to arrive and these guys are late. You know, they promise you that they're going to be here at 1.30 and I think my time right now is already like 2.30 and they're not here yet. 
or else I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't have been outside with Duke because if I'm outside and they ring the bell and I don't actually hear them, they uh, they will postpone my shipment like Monday or Tuesday, especially because right now it's a freaking weekend. What's good way to make bro uh, broth? What bones and meat? Okay, um, so what I do is for the bone broth, um, usually I get lamb bones myself just because I like the flavor of it. But get from the from the butcher, ask him for some uh, bones for soup. And usually they have some fat, they have some collagen on them, they have some uh, a protein attached to it, and of course they have bone marrow attached with them. And I usually boil them in my pressure cook for about anywhere between four to six hours. And once they're actually uh, cooked, I actually remove the cover, I scoop the fat, because I don't want, I don't want the fat to oxidize, I scoop the fat, and I actually put the fat in, uh, in the fridge, and that's how I actually make my, let's say, beef tail, for example. Then I actually boil them again for about two hours, because once I hold the bone, I want to make sure the bone can actually break in my fingers without pressing on them too much. That's how you actually withdraw all the nutrients from the bone, especially calcium as well, too. And that's where you can get your calcium. You don't want to never get calcium, let's say, from supplementation. And that's usually how I make it. And I make enough where I can have at least one cup a day, and at least it will last me at least five days or seven days. Now, I know when I am off the grid, I don't have the uh, pressure cook because I don't have electricity there that has enough power. So I have to actually do it off the wood stove. So it's going to be interesting. But I did, uh, I don't know if I did a video on bone broth or not. Maybe I will make one for sure. Thank you, Mary Jean. That would be appreciated. I'm teasing you because I love teasing everybody and make everybody laugh 100 percent. keep at it Lowy. And, and and i like being at 71 i think uh, you know I, I still look good at 71 and i think age is just a freaking number you know we always say well hey you know this month i'm gonna be you know 60 or 61 or 62 and people who stress about it i think age is just a freaking number and we need people to actually laugh and that's how we make sure everybody's uh, young and enjoying life if we end up stressing too much that's not a way to live that's not a way to live so you do what you do, Lawi. We're all good here. If anybody gives you a hard time, let me know. Pam, thanking us to you for all the good information. First time on here. Thanks, thanks for coming by, Pam. And I'm glad, uh, I'm glad uh, you find the information very, uh, very informative. And definitely, you know. Your support would be greatly appreciated if you can watch some of my YouTube channel and some of my YouTube videos. And I do focus quite a bit on heart disease, but there's a lot of other things I focus on, which is high blood pressure. And I do have a lot of patients from, uh, you know, from joint issue to hyperthyroidism to uh, uh, hormonal issues, uh, peptides. So any anything you have, anything you want to ask, you know, feel free. More than happy to help you. When are you going to be 100 years old? I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. You know, um, I'm look. I'm definitely looking forward to it. You know, you know, you know. The funny thing, I think, you know, we're capable of living way beyond a hundred, way beyond a hundred. Message retracted. Why did you delete the message after I read it? You're too late. But yeah, I think, uh, so I bought these yesterday, these empty uh, glass containers from the Looney store. They're like $1.50. So that's where I'm going to put all my, uh, all my supplements that I actually got because I bought them in bulk. And I'm doing a test on some of these supplements before I kind of give you guys all the links because I know it gets very expensive to buy some of the supplements from your like local uh, stores because of the retail packaging and a whole bunch of other stuff. And, and trust me, when you actually look at some of these supplements, they're all mixed, right? So you look at the ingredients, they all have so much garbage in them. Um, so, yeah, the mason jars are amazing because, you know, let's look at this one, for example. So, so I go ahead and you buy the N-acetyl alcestine, and I, very, I talk very highly about NAC. And, of course, when you look at the ingredients in there, you know, they put uh, rice, they put cellulose because for the capsule, um, what else I'm reading in French? I gotta read in English. And uh, you know, they put magnesium stearate and uh, 
Uh, they put sodium. So they put so much garbage in there. So the, the question is, why are we buying, you know, so the capsule barely fits about 500 milligrams. So the other 100 milligrams, they have to actually fill it up because every average capsule fills up to about 600, 625 milligrams. So they fill it up with other sources. And these other sources are what kind of gets a sick bit. I'm sorry, but I think you're going to look funny. And when you're 100 years old, uh, I'm going to actually, I'll do a filter of 100 years old because I think there was a filter on TikTok at one point. And, and I think uh, I should actually post it up. I saw one guy do actually an amazing job. Um, and I can't figure out what the software is where he actually, he does live and he does, he does uh, like videos. In, in a face of a, of a 98 years old man and he has the accent, he has the voice, he has everything and it's just, it's amazing. I would love to do that just for like the hell of it. Would be great. Bam, fillers. Yeah, that's how they make their dollars. It's insane. The amount of fillers we have and the bulking agents, Deborah's mentioning as well too, and the supplements and what that's what we end up paying for. So uh, that's why I've been actually testing the uh, these guys here actually. This is a company, so I just bought some. Like this is a bromelain. This is a pure bromelain. Usually the bromelain that I would buy would actually have uh, rice flour and magnesium stearate and so many other adjectives. And they only put 300 milligrams per capsule. So you figure out 300 milligrams times 100 capsules. That's only like about three grams. So you're paying three grams for three grams. You're paying $30. Yet this is 100 grams and you're paying the same price. So this should actually last you almost like a year. But of course, you know, the nice thing with this is you can actually use mega dosing. And that's the only reason I buy them in, in bulk because I wanna use mega dosing and actually see the effect of it. By the way, you laugh so funny. Really? How the hell am I supposed to freaking laugh now, Olawi? So are you really nine years old? I thought my channel is not made for young kids to be on this, uh, to, to be watching and asking questions. Seriously, no. Are you really nine years old? I don't think you are. Because YouTube will actually yell at me, the stuff I talk about. Then they won't monetize me. Guys, I'm going to stay here for another five minutes before I go because I'm going to go play with Duke. These guys are, uh, I've been waiting for them all day, seriously, since I came. And they're not here yet. Let's see if they delivered anything without even ringing the door. No, nothing's here yet. Like, come on. So the problem is uh, if they leave it in the warehouse or they leave it in their truck and, and the heat will actually destroy the, uh, the taurine. And it's already 219. And they're supposed to be here the latest. The latest they said 230. So I, I don't know what's going on. This is kind of getting annoying a bit. Um, I'm just going to check to see if they sent me a message at all. Uh, by the way, uh, he's hijacked his parents' computer. <laughs> Probably. I think that's what Lawi has been doing. That's, that's what's happening. How does taurine get destroyed? So sometimes uh, the heat, because keep in mind, a lot of these supplements are actually shipped in plastic and the plastic, the, well, that's one thing I hate. Usually when I actually, they get shipped in plastic, I remove them from the plastic container and automatically I put them uh, in a glass container because the plastic mimics estrogen. That's why a lot of the males are becoming estrogen dominance because everything we use is in plastic. So usually based on the ticket number of the product, you can tell when it was actually filled up. So the one I'm getting today, that actually they were just actually done at the manufacturer almost uh, 10 days ago. So as long as they've been stored in something in a, in a cooling area would be ideal. But the moment the heat hits some is going to actually activate or mimics estrogen. And what's going to happen is it's going to destroy the quality of the taurine or the quality of some of the supplements. So that's why I like to actually separate them as soon as I get them right away. I know, but it's just fun to talk to other people, but I'm really nine years old for real. Oh, wow, he is. Okay, well, we'll pretend, we'll pretend you're 90 
So uh, we don't get banned from YouTube then. How's that? I think that would be ideal. I recently bought a, ca a glass kettle. Yeah, 100%. You guys try to kind of stick with everything that is either glass or stainless steel. Try to stay away from plastic. And I've been having a lot of, a lot of my patients, they want to do, uh, you know, testosterone uh, therapy or, you know, TRT, so on and so forth. But once we actually do a blood test, we find out that they're actually more estrogen dominance. And the problem is, forget the testosterone, fix your estrogen by actually eliminating a lot of the plastic from your diet. And trust me, your testosterone will go back up. And the recent video that I put out in regards to statins, um, keep in mind, statins will actually destroy your testosterone levels. So you guys got to be careful because uh, if that happens, that's why you're actually out of energy. Uh, you don't feel like working much. You feel fatigued. You feel tired. You have a foggy brain. That's all because of, uh, of the statins, whoever's been using them out there. Okay, fine. We can act like I'm nine years old. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think that'd be ideal. So, guys, I'm going to get going because um, I do have to actually get this and, and actually run to the store very, very quickly before it's too late, before it gets uh, rush hour, because when it's rush hour, I don't like to leave to drive. So if you guys don't mind supporting my channel, watching a couple videos, just so I can get the hours up and going, uh, would be really, really appreciated. And La Lawi was uh, fun, uh, you picking on me today, and thanks for giving me the proper age number. It's always fun to have, uh, to have uh, guys like that around. Uh, but you guys, in the meantime, I'll probably do another chat or another live uh, maybe later today or possibly tomorrow. And I'll do it on uh, on both TikTok and on YouTube. And Lau, you're more than welcome to join. Pam, thanks as well from uh, subscribing. And you guys take care. In the meantime, when I, whenever I do my next live, you guys have your questions ready. Seriously, have your questions ready. Anything you want to learn, anything you, wanna, uh, you want me to actually do videos on, feel free to... Uh, to respond or to send me a message or to comment as well too. In the meantime, you guys take care and happy Friday. And let's figure out how to turn this off. There we go.